Everybody. Hello, fellow dwarves. Hello, fellow Earth Strikers. It's Will. I have a proposition. <laughs> yes, I will marry you. What if we stop this stream so that I can go back to playing my own dwarf fortress save? <laughs> Why? I can't stop thinking about this game. Speaking of the game, let's get to it. I can't stop playing dwarf fortress. I. Uh, it's really good. Yeah, I hit. I hit a magma sea. And I, so I'm having, trying to figure out how to get through the magma sea because I want to hit hell, release all the demons, and have that be the the end possibly of my current fortress. But anyways, our our fortress here, previously on Dwarf Fortress, um, uh, actually, you know what? Well, we didn't really do a lot of open AI, so I don't. It's not worth showing off the images. But, well, how about you give us a recap on what happened last time? Um. Well. We had some were elks and were lizards in the uh, the old tavern there, uh, and then they bit a bunch of people, and then we killed them, and then those people got better, and then the next full moon they all turned into were elks and were reptiles, uh, and then they killed a bunch of people, and so that worked its way for a bit uh, until we're left with two people who turn into were elks every month. Uh, and there's just a bloody massacre on the screen that I'm trying to get them to clean up. There must have been 30, 40 people that died in this room. Yeah, um, there's a lot. I think we had 71 population before the beginning of the last episode. Yeah. So, okay, um, so I'm just looking at the tavern. We have two people. I think what we should do is... We should build a refuse, maybe just right around the corner. One that's just closer so that they can quick dump. I would I would just dig the refuse right in there. Although, but we don't want the refuse in. We don't want Let's refuse right here. inside. Yeah, that works. Custom refuse. And then Every for those two people, I say we just set them. Horses. We set their laborers to hauler right now, and that's it. Who was that lady? leaving who are you oh there's just a ghost standing up here <laughs> he's just floating in the air <laughs> um for him because i think the good news is we only have two people right now so i think we can just micromanage their labors and stuff and just because i i want to get the tavern clean because if the tavern's clean then we have people coming and if we have people coming then we can bite them and and add them to the fortress potentially okay so they're they seem to be cleaning up. There's a bunch of ghosts in here. I'm going to have to try to make slabs for all the dead people. Oh, God. Well, no, not right now, though. No, eventually. Eventually. Sorry, where are we? Oh, they're there. <laughs> They've transformed for now. Just having a good time. Just hanging out what we're doing um <laughs> Asteshnetzel netzel the umber <laughs> it's a terrifying name oh oh, oh, oh we turn he's back, back. Good okay now. so i think we need to get oh, rid of all yep. his we need to get rid of all his labors so that he will actually clean up the tavern because you only have two people yeah so uh, they're all set to just haul um they if things pop up they will go do them and haul them. The only way I can stop them is by going in here and stopping them. But well, they are all Maybe we should kill all your work orders too. Already did. So what? So what was he doing then? Like he just went. Can we just? Can we just follow he's him? He's hauling things to places, and now he's trying to prepare raw fish, which I don't want. Yeah, because he they don't need food. So that, that's why I just want to, because we can't micromanage, and we kind of have to right now. 
Yeah. So I'm just anything he tries to do, I'm just gonna remove. Hi, Orny. What did you guys play Irony. last night? Oh, we played Mario Party last night. Karen won. Yeah, we'll cheat. Superstars. I do not cheat. Excuse me. You're the one who was like, oh, the one where you have to memorize a thing. I just take a picture of it. It's so much easier. <laughs> I was like, what? I don't think I ever said that. Not you or me. Oh, oh, OK. <laughs> she also thought you could lie at Clue. So that's a different. <laughs> yeah, you don't you like. That would make the game more fun. Who is this guy? Is he the other? What's the name of your two your two dudes left? Astesh and, Astesh Zon. and Zon. He is not one of them. Is your temple open to the the uh, external? Oh yeah, let's do citizens only. Why is he over here? He must be scared out of his mind. <laughs> <laughs> All these dead bodies. Uh, you got to take the the the, tr the. Did you do the? We did. We did it last time, right? Where we made it so they will haul corpses. Yeah. In the standing orders. I think they're just slowly. Oh yeah, yeah. They were cleaning it. Yeah, store item in stockpile. So, I I mean it's gonna take a bit. I, I but we could we could cheat. What is it? We could Winter. cheat. Make and make and make an all stockpile near nearby as well, so they just throw it in there. Because I just want to yeah, make I mean, it this, quick. It, yeah, I don't know. Oh, see, they're going to the refuse zone, so that is working. Jeez. I'm gonna delete it from there, and I'm gonna do a garbage dump here. So they can at least just boom, 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 boom. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So that's a little bit better. Um, oh. Oh no. Never mind. I thought it had a third person there, but it doesn't. Yeah. This is like this situation is going to require a bit of uh, waiting for them to clean up. I don't know. Like. Well, we'll still get we should still get migrants because I believe it's based off your fortress wealth and you you have. wealth. Yeah. I, the only thing I'm worried about is. They might just kill the migrants rather than only harm them enough to turn. You know? So, well, yeah, and I think part of it is a gamble where it's like we could we could only have one of them loose and we just gamble how many people they're going to kill versus, you know, maybe they're able to bite five people before they die. So honestly, maybe we should just lock them up for a couple migrant waves until we get to like 20 people. And then we let them loose because I think I want enough people to kill the wear elk. So it will stop it in that instance. Well, I don't know. Because it's it's a delicate balance. You need unturned to bite. But if you have too many unturned, then they're just going to kill the wear elk. Yeah. What is this? Captivated by surveying. It's a copy. Uh, yeah, I agree. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> just... I don't even know where they're pulling these bones from. I guess just down here. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, there is like, what, oh, 70 it, dead in this fortress? It gets, it gets worse, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty it's bad. Incredible. We're still alive. Why just is there barely. a bed? This guy got killed carrying a bed to the hospital. <laughs> Hi, Halicha. At least there's more down here. Oh, I, I don't have chat up. Hi, Halucha. It's uh, it's gonna be a tough stream today because we have two wear elk. Look at these two ghosts. <laughs> they're just following, following you. Yeah. But they're not attacking, uh, so. No, they're just probably being dicks. Like peeves. <laughs> so 
It's honking my horn. <coughs> I'm tired. This guy's still here. <laughs> what is? Go away. He feels pleasure near a fine table. He doesn't feel anything after seeing the human lub anguish lull's dead body. Well, it's okay, because he'll get bit when the moon comes. I so. hope so. Oh, here we go. It's weird. They go. They go. Just follow up. them. Just follow the camera. Oh, no, I, I wasn't trying to follow them, but I, I will now. He just stands here. He probably doesn't have any targets, oh. right? Yeah. He does have two lovers, though. Ew. Gotta wait for this auto save. It's, what is it, first of granite? Yeah, first of granite. So Early spring. Be... So we might be getting a migrant wave soon. Yeah, and it should be, he, sh he should transform back soon. Once this save finishes. Yeah, we get migrants to the fortress, but because it, we only have two werelocks here, the migrants show up and then they all die. <laughs> <laughs> they all get slaughtered at the next full moon. But we're trying to figure out how to build up the fortress population by, like, getting them bit, but not dead. To go to others. Ghost. This guy's just hanging out. Wait, why aren't they? There's nobody in here, right? Oh, it's these two. There's the guest, but they probably don't know where he is. Go eat the guest. Oh, there he goes. Back At least he's polite. He just goes, freaks out in the temple. <laughs> uh, so this this fortress is basically just going to be were elks and ghosts then, which is pretty great, honestly. It's honestly terrifying. They slowly Ooh. go mad. Spring has arrived. You know what's a great phrase? Syndra. Spring has sprung. Spring has sprung. Ooh, Halucha with a good question. You ever have a go ghost or spooky experience? Hmm. I don't believe in ghosts. But I... Um, it's racist. <laughs> I I terrify easily and I get scared very easily. Yeah, I get scared. Uh, I won't go into like dark basements. I won't. Yeah, I get scared extremely easily, even though I know there's nothing scary. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm more worried about like snakes and shit. Like I'm, I'm less worried about the supernatural and more about just the like. Home invaders and stuff. Just being like, you know what? I'm always I'm scared of dinosaurs more than I am of ghosts. Well, only one of those is real. Ghosts. <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't like dinosaurs. They really spook me. It's it's kind of like um, it's like UFO experiences. You've been following all the balloon drama lately. Yeah, a lot of balloon drama. It's actually it's very fascinating because basically, you know, there's been all these like uh, UFO, UAP sightings and they're becoming more like public and popularized recently. But there's this one military uh, journalist that I follow on Twitter. I, I shouldn't say military journalist. He's like he's like a millet. He's a journalist for a website that covers military affairs. He's not in the military. But he does very in-depth analysis and stuff. And he's had the hypothesis for several years now that he's like, these aren't UFOs. These are enemy countries like flying drones and balloons and shit over our borders as like surveillance. And like yeah. the military's done a terrible job. Like they keep like ignoring the reports rather than investigating it. And so this is an instance of us like the military finally taking it seriously and being like, Oh, these aren't UFOs. These are other countries literally just flying shit over our borders. 
And so now they're like shooting them down all the time. They shot down Jeez. three so far. There was another one in Montana last night that they didn't shoot down, but they spotted it. What's the like point? What are these? Like, what do the other it. countries think they're going to find? Random stuff? It's just, it's just like you get higher. It, think about it like satellite imagery, but you're, you get much higher quality images. So they're just taking pictures yeah, of fucking true. everything. Um, and then probably, probably, you know, uh, SIGINT as well, signals intelligence. So they're just sucking up a lot of radio, microwaves, etc., and just consuming all of that. You know, you can't you can't crack the enemy's code and, uh, unless you have samples. So. True. Yeah. No job. What do you mean? No job. And then the um, the, the thing, work. the thing he posted this morning, he had a, a, a source in the military that said the reason why we hadn't seen any of these before was because radar nowadays is so powerful that it picks up everything like birds and shit and all this stuff so they have filters in place by default and one of them was like a speed filter where they were like we don't care about anything traveling slower than like let's say 50 miles per hour or whatever and as soon as and then like within this past week they took the filter off and they're like what's a, what's that big fucking thing right there <laughs> they're like i don't care how slow it's going it was there the whole fucking time and that's why Jeez. they were like they were like, oh, shit, there's one over Alaska. They're like, oh, my God, there's one over Canada right now. <laughs> like that, like it was just information overload. And then they take the filter <laughs> off and they're like, uh, dear Lord. Uh, Gary. <laughs> uh, Gary. Um, we've got a problem here. Um, I, for, I, I made a specific refuse duty and I set them only to that. So, <laughs> oh, OK, duty. They're doing good. Mm. Duty. Yeah, I'm going to look up how well. to attract people to your tavern, because I think that's going to be key as well. Although I did so close the tavern while I was cleaning it. Yeah, because I just realized people people that are in the tavern aren't part of your fortress. They're more likely to join. Correct. They may. Yeah, I might get the like petition to join. So here's here's what I recommend. I recommend we create a quarantine zone. And around the full moon, we put the two in the quarantine zone. We at least do that for a couple months and see if we can get our population up without any deaths, etc. Because then we could reopen yeah. the tavern. We're not, we, I want to. I want to get rid of all the deaths right now, and then we once we have a decent number, then we can figure out how to infect. So let me. Oh, how they just turned again. Increase tavern. Popularity. Yeah, because I can tell you the dates. Yeah, he goes and just hangs out in the temple when he's uh, a wear elk. Oh, the other guy didn't transform that full moon. Oh. That's interesting. So let's... I know they're still doing the refuse, but let's figure out... Yeah, yeah. Quarantine so, is probably just just a room with a door. Maybe that one right there in the northeast. We get them in there. So set we, it as a burrow? That's what, that's what I was thinking. We set it as a burrow. But so that's I was reading about this. Right? People were saying people were saying burrows only work when people have a task within that burrow. So so if they have no job, they'll go to their burrow. If they have a task, they will go to that burrow. If they have a task in that burrow, they will go to that burrow. But if you just turn it on and they're doing something else, they'll continue doing something else. So how do we set them a task in the quarantine? So should I put a lever in here? Yeah, maybe two levers. Two levers? Either I was going to say either two levers or set it to engrave, but block the door now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Set, I, I can just do an engraving thing and they can run in here and then turn Although, it off once they're in there. They'd have to have like the engraver stone cutter labor. I, I think your lever idea is right. No, I, that's easy. I just turn stone cutting on. Yeah, that's fair. I, I think that'll work. Yeah, so let's lock the door. I don't even think you need the burrow, to be honest. You just set it there and they'll go do it. Yeah. So as soon as migrants pop, we'll do that. 
Well, I was thinking, uh, let's try it this full moon. So a day or two before we we, we throw them in. Oh, there. yeah, see if it works. What's the next date? 23rd. So on the 20th of Slate, let's do it. Because <clears throat> I think migrants may take a while, but I also want to get our tavern popping again. True. That would be nice. Oh. Okay. Oh, we We're got at least two. Migrants. Okay, cool. So 20th, we'll throw them oh. in. So we, we have a decision here. It, it would be easier going forward to just quarantine these two, to like lock them in a room and wall them in. I think so. I think I'm, I think we do that. Okay. So we'll put them in that room and wall them in. Might as well do it now. Yeah. Let's get rid of this. Let's do the smoothing this yeah oh you may you may yeah. need to smooth more than that just so that you have time to build the wall they stay in for a bit cool oh you're gonna place it and Oops. suspend it yeah That's smart They can keep the door. They can keep the door. What's the custom? Oh, the do? new people start hauling the bodies. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, it was refuse hauling is the custom detail. One of the mods I saw was added a whole bunch more icons for you to select for custom details. Oh, that see that'd be fantastic. Yeah. Um shoot. Aztesh, right? Aztesh and Ust Tooth. Why aren't they only selected to do this? Dabbling stone cutter. Why aren't they doing it? Oh, I wonder if they just had a thing they were already doing. It's oh, Aztesh, and Zon. this guy, and Zon. We, we still got 11 days until they turn. True. This is where the alarm would be so much better, because then you could probably assign an alarm to just two of them and force them in there. Oh. Okay, is Aztesh is in there. No, are they both in there? There's two people in there. Oh. That's a ghost. Oh, a leprechaun ghost. <laughs> I want a mod that lets you zoom in further. Is this not close enough for you? No, I want it like a super zoom. You're... you're you're oh, I'm paused. Thank you. I was like, what? okay, so where's the other guy? Why do I have 20 people now? We got more migrants. He has no job. Zon? Why do you have. Oh, let's let, let's here, let him play I'll for a little bit. Him. Yeah, maybe he'll pick it up. What, what, is that, what does that red mean? This? Yeah, I mean, I can't see it, but next to the smiley face, what does that mean? Oh, this? I, I just made it so they can only do the thing I assigned them to. Oh, okay, that's nice. What you doing, bud? We could lock at least one in there. If he's not in there by the 20th, I think we build the wall. Yeah. room but I think it's too late 
Because he, he's probably going to die when he tries to attack the other people. True. But he's going to bite more people is the problem. Let's do the Bro. room. Can you try and assign, uh, create a bedroom and assign it to him? But he's not going to go there now. He's got no job. He's like super pissed. <laughs> he's very angry. Um, okay. Let's check. Yeah, just check check his levers again. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Have him, have him he's green there. No, I, I turned it off in case that was doing it. Oh, okay. Let me set, um. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm sorry. Engravers. I just want him as an engraver. Maybe he'll come down for that. Wait, let me make sure engraver is set to only select. Come on, buddy. Uh, I don't know. He's probably just being stubborn. How let's do I let's... exile someone? Oh, what's what's that in the top top right under the camera? Should I expel him down at the bottom? Yeah. Expel him. Let's lock the other guy in. Build the wall. Yeah, Build he just took a move. that wall. Looked like he was moving off the map. Yeah, I think they leave. Okay, whoever comes and builds this, do not build it from the inside. You know what? I'm fine with that. Oh, yeah. You know what? I am too. Oh, is anyone set to doing building? Well, you don't have to manually set for building, right? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, here they go. Oh. Please. Yes. Yay! Watch, there's going to be a wear elk that shows up this time. <laughs> uh, you, we could kill him. We could dig a hole above it, and then we could fill it with, slowly fill it with water. Oh, yeah, where's the or drop animals and bring it. this over there. I don't think it's worth it. He's thirsty. Who cares? He's just going to be there forever. He may die of dehydration. He doesn't need. Let me let me look up what he needs. It doesn't need. No need for food or drink. They don't need beds or bedrooms. Well, I've got lots of people who have showed up. Yeah. So maybe we have averted catastrophe. Can we check him? Did he turn? Should have turned. So I got my dates wrong. It's not full moon yet. 23rd of oh, now it is. He just turned. Let me check creatures just to make sure it's only him. Nice. Yay. We've officially survived. Okay, so now we have a new fortress, but first I think we need to clean up. Yeah. So we're still cleaning up the tavern. Well, they're almost done. Yeah, and then I'll reassign it. Um. Oh. Why is it never? Why are you uh, doing that? Uh, the other do... thing I need to do is um, we need to set all the work orders again, and uh, yeah. I forget the other thing I was gonna say now. Well, why that's happened? I'm gonna do Dolly real quick. I'm gonna say it is a thirsty werewolf stuck in a small stone room by himself 
what style do we want for this? Do we want black and white photograph? Oh, that's pretty good. What if I, so I'm not going to do stack. I'm going to do standing. Okay, so they don't need anything. They're crafting. Good. Man, remember how bonkers Roblox was yesterday? Oh, we need to engrave slabs. That's what we need to do. Yeah. That was... That was, um... We should do more Roblox with friends. <laughs> Look at this list of all of the dead people. At least... So, as far as I can tell, ghost no slabs, so it'll tell you if they're a ghost. So we can focus on those guys first. I think... Yeah. Is it, I think we should do... Well, again, we can do the slabs. This is going to take you a while to set up, but I think we should also have a nice tomb area for these people. A nice big tomb. All right, let's take yeah, a look at these pictures. Here we go. This is <laughs> Thirsty Werewolf standing in a small stone room by himself. Does he have Nikes on? <laughs> Tennis shoes? This is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> this was like a Slavic squat. <laughs> it's like you're drinking a coffee. I think that's like the lighthouse or like whatever. I think it's this one. I think it's number two. What do you think? I think it's number two. Number we got two. a cedar ring. Nice. From uh, Amos Olathrith. Thank you, Amos. Sorry, come again? Amos. Oh, I should probably turn all the labor. I go back and forth with labors. Like, I like that you can micromanage, but I also hate micromanaging them. I usually do. Everybody does this until I need, like, something done. <laughs> and then I'll switch it. Oh! Can I make? Oh, I. I can't. I can't do administrators or anything for some reason. Why not? I don't know, but it's just blank. Oh, because we went down to zero. I think it glitched. Well, no managers, so no work <laughs> orders. Let, Will, let me ask you a question. How much money would no. I need? Based on our stream schedule, today is the current... Today is the f season one finale of Dwarf Boys. Should we just figure out a nice, lovely way to kill all these people off? I mean, I don't think so. I think the nice, lovely thing to do is our next fortress is still in this world and we just check in on it every so often. So we could retire this fortress and go go play around with the arena mode. And yeah, call I it think stream. So. Yeah, we, we will be back with Dwarf Boys. It's just uh, we're going to take a bit of a break to do some other stream series. So maybe in a in a couple months, we'll come back and have a Dwarf, War, Dwarf Boys season two. Yeah, we can always do a chill stream. This guy's still here just hanging out <laughs> um is he i mean coma? honestly another thing you can do you can retire the fortress and then start it back up again in four weeks will the pass so yeah see what they did in four weeks um well my friend it was lovely knowing you at least these ghosts can come visit him and make him an even more fouler mood um there's people fighting there's a boar child Oh, is it because the the tree fell when it was being cut? Oh, uh, I guess. These are big trees. 
Oh man, you know what'd be great is doing a fortress in a giant tree. That'd be fun. Yeah. I think even just like an above ground fortress that you have to build would be super difficult. Like you're building it. Yeah, up. there was um there's a great Krug Smash I recommend where never heard of him. He started on a coast and he every time the winter came and it froze over the ocean, he would go out and start constructing the platform that his base would be on. <gasps> That's fantastic. And then, uh, like, Crux Smash, I love, but if you don't like his style of doing it, watching his stuff for just the ideas is incredible. Yeah, yeah, that's really um, cool. It was very cool. Okay. Retire the Fortress for the time being. Yes. Really retire the world we save, but you'll need to unretire the fort to play here again. Retire. Last track, Strange One. Save and return. Save to this timeline. Nice. Adieu, singed drow. Adieu. Singed rough. Singed drow. Rough, not singed drow. Singed drow. Singed drow. Singed drow would have been good. Hello! Oh, singed drow. Me, mommy, for my there was a dwarf murder we could solve. <sighs> um, arena mode. Check arena mode. I've never arenaed before. I, you know what I, I don't understand. Either. Look, I know we're talking about arena, but the thing that I don't understand is adventure mode. Why? Because all of Dwarf Fortress is you are requesting things be done, and then your dwarfs are kind of just bumbling around doing them in a single screen. But I don't understand adventure mode. Are you directly controlling the dwarf, like their movement and their actions yeah. and everything? It's it's essentially a roguelike, roguelike at that point. It's wow. you're the main character walking around doing stuff. Wow. You go to taverns, you get quests, you go complete the quest, you visit forts. Fuck, that sounds cool. Yeah, it's really neat. Let's do, yeah, whichever one of those. Uh, let's let's do some. Fights. I did classic. I wonder, can we put traps in the ground or anything, or is it just? I think so. You want some were elks versus. Uh, let's see how many villagers. Uh, yeah, let's put some were elks in here. It's probably W E R. Elk man. Elk man works. Where? There was a, there was an elk man. Yeah, I saw. Oh, and then you set the side on the top right. What? How do I create? <laughs> We're unpaused. They're just going at each other. Oh, but it's oh weird. God. It's only like like only some of them go at each other. Okay, what else do we want? Skills. Oh, I can give skills to people. Oh my God. That's neat. Let's put a bunch of dwarves in like steel armor. Do you want a giant king snake or a giant kiwi cock? <laughs> yeah, put a big cock in there. Uh, let's put some. <laughs> Whoa, someone's teeth just exploded. <laughs> Wait, they're taking them out, oh. aren't they? The giant, they kind of are. Well, one of them died. Oh. This elk man's tired. Oh, yeah. They won. Conflict level, no quarter. Brawl, training, horseplay, encounter, no quarter. What What are the options at the bottom? Oh, man. Look at our victor here. Uh, I'm sorry. Options, uh, create a creature, add or remove fluids, create a tree to place in the arena, change the weather, temperature, and time. Nice. Let's put a bunch of dwarfs in there and then drop some, like, lava or something. And then let's Four. let's put them in like steel. Um, oh, I see. You're adding this, and then you hit create. That is cool. Um, oh, I wish you could just body wear. This is too much. I bet... This is too complicated. I wonder if you could save it. My gut says no. <laughs> that you'd only get that with a mod. that and then let's give them short swords and some shields i wish we're gonna was... make them side one. Oh, 
Oh, I put that guy in a wall. I wish more... I wish this had a bunch of building, too, because I would love to test out traps with this. Okay, and then side two... Do they have any forgotten beasts in here? I guess they're all kind of forgotten beasts, aren't they? Why don't you Let's look up like a, scroll like a lava see. something? Or like a fire. What about unicorns? Toad men. Oh, toad men? You want to do toad men? Yeah. How many toad men? Like oh, I many? saw somebody design a chessboard with statues in there. That's good. Let's kick it. I think the Toad Men are going to die. Oh. That's brutal. They slaughtered the Toad Men. Did you, did you see the screenshot that I posted this morning? About. Yes. There was a there was a, a, a goblin siege that came and I was trying to get my military in position. And for some reason, the the goblins started coming down the main corridor, the, the main outside entrance corridor. And one of my military guys showed up way before everybody else. And he turned the corner. He entered a martial trance. And he went into the goblins and he killed all 10 of them by himself. <laughs> I was like. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want a boogeyman is, but I just placed two of them. Let's do it. Oh. oh, at the top, it tells you how many are left. So. No more dwarfs left. The boogeyman like changes. That's cool. Ugh. Okay, let's put some lava in here. <laughs> and put some water on top. Uh oh. Oh, just a bunch of steam. Oh, but it cleared some of the lava out. Whoa. So this that... is just neat to see how things react. Yeah, and it's creating obsidian. Oh, it made... It made uh, walls. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm going to try and do at my fortress, is I'm going to um, uh, have water drop from the top, from the river, and drop down like 150 Z levels to hit the top of the magma sea and just try and dry it out. And then I'll oh, dig through it. Oh, it's a pyramid. I'll put archers on the top of it and then... This is really cool, but I think this is a... I think the UI UX is getting in the way here. Yeah, it's really just for, like, testing mods and stuff is the big reason they put it in. Wow. This is neat. It's cool, though. That's neat. Shall we call it for season one of Dwarf Boys? I think we should. William Yosef Crispers, what have we learned? Number one. Well, actually, sorry, there's only one place to have this. <laughs> we have killed. How many people have we killed? I think at least 100, right? Between Over 100, for sure. 70 in yours, like the 20 or 30 in mine and all the others. Uh, Dwarf Fortress is a very dangerous game. You got to be careful. Uh, people get thirsty, so you need a well. And uh, don't mess around with where else you should try and quarantine and kill them immediately. Game's still fantastic, though. God, I love this game. What was so your... good. I'm so happy you like it. Yeah. What were your favorite moments of uh, season one of Dwarf Boys? Um, I really liked that first cut to the tavern with the two were lizards and were elks in it. That was very funny. Um, yep. And I don't know, just like the, the little things. It's, it's a fun game. It's the journey, not the destination. You have any any hopes, dreams and wishes or goals for season two when we get to it? Season two, I think we've got to uh, we got to have something good. I think it's plan. I think we got to have a great a I, mission. I, yeah. And, and this is going to sound like a vanilla mission, but I think given our track run, it is going to be difficult. 200 of us. Let's get to yeah, 200. for sure. For sure. But I think we need to have something unique. We, yeah, we, should, have little, cool. we should have little goals and, and little things along the way. Like, hey, let's make a magma forge and do all this little stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. We Again, we're not sure when that's going to come back because uh, I'll tell you right now what's coming up. Next week is going to be some one-off streams. I'm going to be on vacation. So we're all kind of taking a, an opportunity to chill. 
coming back March 4th, Saturday, March 4th, is Subpixel Aerospace Season 2. That is our Kerbal Space Program series. It's coming back because Kerbal Space Program 2 hits early access just before that date. So we're coming we're back. That's our awesome series where we dress up like uh, NASA mission control astronauts, you know, the short sleeve white shirt, the, the bow tie, the glasses, uh, and then we do crazy missions each episode. It's a lot of fun. Um, and after that, Will, I believe we've got the Fallout randomizer for a couple weeks in April. Um, yes. Which is which is going to be a lot of fun. After that, we're not sure yet. So we're not sure when Dwarf Boys is going to come back. It will come back at some point. We can guarantee you that. But it's going away on hiatus because it's reached a nice season conclusion. And also we've got some fantastic stuff. So stick around, folks. You can follow us at Subpixel Team on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, TikTok. I already said that. Um, we post all sorts of stuff there. Twitter's where we like to post about uh, our upcoming stuff. Uh, we also have our um, uh, TikTok. We've been putting some shorts up there. They're pretty fun. Take a look at those. Nice little clips. Uh, and you can follow me on Twitter at ThinkGibson. You can follow Will at Hunt270. Our next stream is going to be Tuesday the 14th at 9 p.m. Eastern. Looks like Kyle's going to be hosting a stream, uh, but that may change. It will be at 9 p.m. Eastern, though, so take a look at our Twitter Follow us on Twitch. Thank you guys so much for watching us. If you want more Dwarf Fortress content, you should go to our Subpixel Streams uh, YouTube channel as well as our Subpixel channel. We've got edited videos about Dwarf Fortress. We've got yes. previous episodes of Dwarf Boys and stuff. All sorts of great Dwarf Fortress content. And join our community Discord. Like I said, we post our personal saves in there and all this crazy stuff going on there. So it's a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Will, thank you for dwarfing with us. Anytime. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.